Hey, we're back. What's good? How are you guys doing? Thanks for sticking around. This is not 3A anymore. We are on 3B. 3B or not 3B. That doesn't work, but you know, we'll pretend it does. We got Lontar versus YB Zoomer. We got Son of Blonic versus Ivern. We've got Cepheus versus Iacane. And we got Bombo versus Swayzo. Patch rolls a pixie. Pixie. Okay. So, we're going to get right into it. First match of the day, we got Lontar. And we got YB Zoomer. Haven't practiced much fighting games lately, just Melty Blood. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of KOF. Uh, I like it as a casual. I like watching it. But actually playing it is not really a thing I'm into. Uh, execution is extremely high. And I don't have time to learn three characters. <laughs> That's all it comes down to. It's just kind of like, you know, it's not my thing. So okay, Cepheus will hit all his knocks tonight. That's that's a bold statement based on how unlucky he's been in the past. Very similar builds. Only real difference is YB Zoomer has a little bit more power. Lontar has a little bit more speed. Well, it's two levels more power, two levels more speed. That's actually pretty significant. Look at the Switch port exclusive mods and that Baku is insanely ugly. That's not the... Uh, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, that is just the Japanese version of Shishi. Japan didn't get Shishi. We didn't get Dongo. And now both regions get both. No, there's no, there's no brand new question mark monsters. It's all stuff that was in the Japanese version of the game already. Ooh, tail saw big damage. Not a big fan. Yeah, no, he, um, is he, he's an artist or something. I don't know what it's a reference to, but that's the most disappointing thing. Is the twenty-seven brand new monsters, and then it's like. Yeah, if you didn't speak Japanese, I guess they're brand new. Hung slap misses. YB Zoomer got fucked by Grit. It's nice to see someone that's not me getting it. That was in Monster Rancher 2 English? No, it was in Monster Rancher 2 Japanese. Stab throw, YB Zoomer with two one hit kills. This time, no Grit. So we're into game three. Yeah, new bottle was only in MF2. Just like forward golem was only in MR2. Shooting at 73, it misses. YB Zoomer's in a good, good spot. Hits another stab throw. It's another KO. YB Zoomer with the upset. Let's go. Lontar got the the grit kill. The grit comeback. But not so much in games two and three. Next up, we got Sana Blonic. Chris, they gave the English version of the game of football player. It's America, baby. My hat feels very crooked. It looks very crooked in the camera, too. Okay, Blonic and Ivern. Football's a sport. I'm John Madden. You guys remember the Power Thirst commercials? That was some shit. Okay, uh... We got Sob and we got Ivern. Prediction is live. Why be Zoomer with the upset immediately? That's pretty big, that's gonna shake things up. Will Lontar make a run from losers round one? PC or switch? PC. 
I think if you've never played Monster Rancher before, um, you, you'll get a lot of use out of the Switch. But if your goal is to play like competitive specifically, um, there's already tools that are like planned to be made to make training on PC easier. So like if your goal is to like have a fun casual experience and you don't really give a shit, uh, you'll probably get more out of the Switch because you can like take it and it's portable. That's always fun. But yeah, if uh, your goal is to raise competitive monsters, then the advanced viewer is the way to go. That's, I mean, not to put too much pressure on Lexi or anything, but she was already talking about implementing it eventually, so that'll be a lot of fun. And even if she doesn't do it, uh, you know, there's always options there for someone else to. Well, the thing is, there's crossplay, right? It doesn't matter if you have Switch or your friend has Switch or whatever. It's full crossplay across both. So just get whatever one you think suits your purposes better. You don't have to worry about anything else. Toxic airs with a lot of withering. There is, that's perfect. And yeah, it's pretty simple in that way. You can even get it on iOS if you really wanted. If you still want the portability, but you don't have a Switch. Slapness at 59. Ivern's got a shot. 72 on the leaves. Both monsters can attack. Toxic arrows at 57. It's going to hit. Doesn't kill, but it does do enough damage. Ivern wins on the buzzer beater. Game one goes to the tree. Yeah, Panju plays Switchboard Battle, he plays on his phone. A lot of people in uh, the Japanese port play on their phone. Big crit there from the kick. Misses the Gale Frenzy again. Son of Blahnik in a great spot right now. Electric Blow, super risky for no reason, and we love to see it. Son of Blahnik gets the KO, but Ivern, back up. Is that pro cross-progression? I don't think so. They haven't talked about it. Mobility can be pretty huge. Yeah, it's funny because I was talking about um, basically everything I just said on the, the Koei Tecmo server, the Koei Tecmo, uh, what do you call it, Discord. And uh, there's this one person in there who was like, uh, obviously Switch is better. Portability is the most important thing. And I was like, okay, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is that for you. <laughs> like, weird, weird thing to like have an extremely powerful opinion on, you know, but you do you. I had said something like, for someone who's played the game as much as me, like, playing it on the go isn't a thing I'm interested in. I'm not like, oh man, I gotta play Monster Rancher, I gotta play it on the bus ride, or whatever. Like, I play this game enough. Uh, so for me personally, it doesn't make any sense. And they're still like, yeah, well, portability's better. Like, okay, you, you seem very pleasant. I'm, I'm happy that I joined this server. Bunch of fucking weirdos. And none of them know Monster Rancher. Missed all three Gale Frenzies? Indeed. Hate to see it. Cepheus up next. They said anything about the DX translation? It's not a brand new localization, but there are some changes, is what they've said. Have I considered portability? I have not. And now that you've mentioned that, I'm completely turned around on it. Uh, Sob gets the win. Too self-conscious to play your Switch in public? That's fair. I don't give a shit. What are they gonna do? Who's gonna- who's gonna say shit to me? <laughs> oh, look at that nerd. Hey, eat my dick. I'm gonna kick you right in the chest. Cepheus and Iocane. Prediction is live. You work remote, so both PC and console mobile stuff is neat. Portability is a huge draw on mobile. It's a great platform for casuals. Yeah, totally. Play Switch mainly when waiting for lunch, dinner to cook. Thought Icane had more defense. Actually, might not be that hard. Yeah, she does have a lot of life, though. You gotta do a lot of damage. Will casuals drop 30 bucks? Not, no, but still. I think they will. 
I think this is one of those perfect game of the month type games that people are like super excited about but won't give a shit about next month. Uh, I have a feeling the game is going to do fairly well. I don't think it's going to break any sales records. I don't think it's going to do better than whatever Koei Tecmo's uh, predictions are. But I think it'll do like fine. I don't think it's going to be like an abject failure. It just won't be enough to, <laughs> to revitalize the series. Tentacles in 99. So, we were talking earlier, if you guys are still in the chat, um, Iacane is a monster with no speed, has a tiny bit of defense, but uh, life is a better defensive stat than defenses itself. So Iacane's got a shit ton of life, uh, and you will see, because she's a monster with high uh, guts regeneration, that getting with her doesn't matter that much. She just lost 40, she's still got a guts lead right now. And if they proc Anger, Anger's the big one. Knock, how much damage are we looking at? 5, 13. Anger, look it. And now her Gust Regeneration Rate goes up by 50%. Anger's downside is that it makes you easier to hit, get hit. It lowers your evasion. But if you're already not dodging anything to begin with, then being able to proc Anger is perfect. You can see De and Def CS getting a gotcha game I wouldn't even mind. You say that, but the one gotcha game that did exist for Monster Rancher fucking blew. It was awful. It was the shittiest thing. Do you know how bad a game has to be for me to... Do you know how bad a Monster Rancher game has to be for me to, like, play it for a week and then never play it again? Like, every Monster Rancher game I've played, I've obsessed over. Even if it didn't turn out to be that good. My, my Monster Rancher, I literally played it for a week when I was on the toilet. And I never touched it otherwise. The near one just depends on how they handle it. Didn't mind it. Think it came out quite early. Nah, I, I will not be okay with them releasing a gotcha game. I'm not looking to spend extra money on this shit. Just give me a good game with like actual good mechanics that I can pay normal game prices for. Heal raid. Iacane's gonna take game two. Stream content for Monster Rancher 4. The thing is, I've, I've probably got a couple hundred hours in Monster Rancher 4. Uh, but fuck, man. I, I had such a shitty time playing it on stream. Tentacles, big damage, big withering. There's the anger, though. So, it turns out the anger doesn't matter that much. Hits the flame at 37. Still has a guts lead. Still has that upped guts regeneration rate. Look how quick it is. Up to 45 again. Kiss is the killer here. Hits it. Ton of withering. Iacane is in the lead. Took that tentacles. Shrugged it off. It's in a great spot now. Put a whole lot of battle cats, which is a harmless gotcha. So, I'm, I'm kind of opposed to it in principle, you know? I feel like if your game is good enough, just charge for it, you know? It's predatory. Even if it's fine. Nice hat, thank you. Iacane gets the win. Iacane moves up. So we got a lot of monsters that are, uh, you know, otherwise always top four or in, uh, what do you call it? The Legend Cup, Winner's Cup, who have lost their first round. So we're going to see some death battles coming up. And our final match before we take a look at Bracket, we got Bombo. At least Knock didn't miss. That's true, it didn't. It's hard to deal with that withering, though. $10 in a single payment. Nice. Yeah, I have a couple of friends who play Battlecast, and they all say it's a pretty fun game. And, like, it doesn't seem super predatory. But, you know. Just the principle. Uh, Iacane gets the win. Here we go. We got Bombo. And Suezo. I'm... I've got about a 5% inkling in my brain that somebody's going to see Bombo in 2021 for the first time and it's going to be patched out of the game. I, I've got a very small like thing in my head that that might happen. Suezo the Suezo. Yeah, very creative name. Mm-mm. 
I think some game devs are forced to do it. Well, yeah, but that doesn't really do much to uh, argue my point, you know? <laughs> my point is that it's a shitty business practice and saying that devs are forced to do it, it's like, yeah. I don't blame the devs for anything. I don't blame devs for most of it. It's always fucking executives with shitty decisions. Koi probably won't care. Not like the Western hit fan base is huge. Yeah. That's totally possible. That's why I said it's like a 5%. Just like a tiny, tiny little bit. Mrs. Nepal and... I actually just saw it today and it was a little uncomfortable. It's, it's kind of fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Telepathy, big damage. Just saying you take a Mr. <laughs> Monster Energy gotcha over nothing. I mean, fair, I suppose. But last time they did it, I literally took nothing over the gotcha game. Yeah, there's 40 of us here and we'll be heard. Brother, I remember. So if you're new to the stream, you haven't uh, talked to me a lot about music and stuff. Um, AFI is my favorite band. AFI has been my favorite band since I was like 13 years old. And I remember seeing this thing at one point uh, where people were trying to cancel AFI because they were clearly Nazis and clearly white supremacists. And they kept using all of these like song lyrics and shit. And all of the song lyrics were about being straight edge. <laughs> like they were all about not using drugs and people were interpreting them as uh, like the purity of the white race and I'm like man you fucking weirdos on tumblr got way too much time on your hands but my point is nothing ever came of that right it was just like weirdos being weird on the internet and i could see some of that happening on this even though you know if if you're black and you see this and you're like you know what that shit's kind of fucked up you're right you're right it is it's not uh i'm not here trying to defend bombo I'm not here trying to defend reggae plant but if it doesn't get removed obviously like i'm not gonna complain about that either anyway 2-1 for the suezo and let's take a look up, up, up. damn so we got killers in lower side Yeah, loser's bracket looking kind of rough right now. We got YB Zoomer versus um, Son of Blonic in winners, and Ayakin versus Suezo in winners. I'm going to get cancelled now. Thanks a lot, Comrade Bob. And then we got Cepheus and Bombo in losers, as well as uh, Ivern and Lontar. So... Three of these four monsters down here made uh, Winner's Cup in the last two weeks. And now uh, only one of them has a shot at it now. That's fucked. You got four monsters up here. One of them's got a shot. You got four monsters down here. One of them's got a shot. One of them might not even make it. It might just be these four. No one here is even guaranteed. It's wild. Okay, so who's up next? We got YB Zoomer. Come on, Ivern, it was round one upset today. <laughs> I know. He, uh, he didn't get the memo on it. That's just how close all of these monsters are in power level. Swayzo gets the win. Are you cheering for Cepheus because you'd rather not have to fight Bombo in Winner's Cup again? Oh boy. Okay, prediction is live. We got YB Zoomer. We got Son of Blonic. What do you like? You can see people trying to cancel culture YB. This guy? The guy over here? What's he gonna get cancelled for? He get cancelled for horse related crimes.
You're gonna need some luck. It's a bad matchup. Okay, just to circle back on a gacha one more time. Hopefully DX does well enough. Proof to concept to skip a gacha game. You read my mind. True words have been never spoken, Berserker. Animal abuse related to himself. Weird sadomasochism shit. He like hits himself with a riding crop. He's a horse. Yeah. Horse related crimes. That's what I said. Centaurs are Nazis. Shout out to Lord. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true too. That's such a weird fucking retcon. I feel like that's got to be lost in translation. Meteor drive. Big damage. There's the grit though. Sana Blonix not out of it yet. He can still get the kill as well. Bojack Horseman. I love the blue hat they gave him. Javelin hits at 57. YB Zoomer is going to win game one. Who advanced to Winner's Cup tonight? Um, Shifu and Drunkenstein. Jumping chop, 61 and misses. Meteor drive misses there. Never seen that Kaboo leg move? He's got gams, brother. Look at that. He works out. Okay, hold on. You're telling me you've watched my my video series. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching your video series in uh in preparation for DX, and you didn't catch the very obvious Gaboo legs joke I make like 20 seconds into the first video. What is this? Fake fans, SMH. SM freaking H, bro. It's on a blonde. It goes for the slap at 75. It hits. There's the power. No power for you. Hit him right in the front of the horse. That is the weakest part of the horse. We all know that. We got a game three. Medium drive misses again. Sound of black in a good spot. Nice and tender. It's just soft. It's like, it's like memory foam. You touch the front of the horse with your hand, it like squishes in. I said you're working customer support when you watch. Yeah, that's fair. I don't blame you for not remembering every little joke I make, you know? In the front of the horse should be a bannable offense. Yeah, but I mean, he has done horse-related crimes, so it's one of those things where it's like, they give him a pass for it because of what's happened in the past. It's like killing baby Hitler, you know? Killing a baby? Not great. Killing baby Hitler? Eh, maybe maybe we'll, uh, we'll look away. My Mochi video, you said the anime peaks on episode one. Is that actually true? The anime kind of sucks. I really don't like it. Um, that's not true. I don't think it's good, but I enjoy it, if that makes any sense. Jumping chop at the buzzer. Sana Blonic is moving up. He goes to winner's finals. YB Zoomer gets power again, but it's not enough. That's just him flexing. He's like, you didn't kill me. Anime is so bad it's good. I wouldn't even say that. I wouldn't even say it's so bad it's good. I would say it's so bad. That it's bad, but it does have redeeming features. Like, I, I genuinely don't think it's very good. Um, but watching it with a friend is really fun. Anyone heard back from that content creator thing? I don't think anyone in the Monster Rancher community has yet. I haven't. Um, I don't think any of us are. I think it's going to go to fucking, like, Tom Fox and these other people who stream Monster Rancher, like, once or twice in their life. But, uh, have a huge following. And not the people who actually create content for the game and you know it is what it is it's not a big deal it's one of those things that's very easy to be uh, cynical about but uh, I'm choosing not to be cynical about it if they don't choose any monster rancher community members that's whatever you know sucks but is not actually unexpected so you know someone got it in the discord Oh. Really? Who was it?
Some guy you never heard of? Some guy you never heard of came in through the Discord and was like, I got it. Said he had about 100 followers. Let me look. I think you're, uh, I see a tweet or a comment that says, I applied for the Monster Rancher creator in Google Forms thing. I hope I get accepted. I only have 155 followers on Twitch, but usually I have 15 concurrent viewers. I think you're misremembering, Macho. If you can uh, show me that, that'd be cool, but. Telepathy hits. Probably misread them. Yeah, I. to be fair, I don't expect them to have even sent out the codes yet. They're pretty slow when it comes to stuff. That sounds like the message you're thinking of, yeah. Yeah, I don't think my 700 followers is enough. It's one of those things that where like the metric doesn't really tell you the story, you know? Like, I make a pretty okay amount of money streaming and uh, through Patreon and all that stuff. It's not enough to support myself, but it's, you know, it's a sizable chunk of money. Uh, you would never expect it from what I have numbers-wise. From West Virginia, can't read. Can't read, got no teeth. Family tree's a circle. It's just rough over there. Suezo keeps getting the kiss, but Iacane does not care. Iacane still wins. Game two. I beam big opener, but as we said, still living, still hanging on. Bang! Goes for the big bang and it misses. Technically a small bang, but... Figured if any... Oh, sorry, I just saw it. I figured if anyone did it, it would be your... If Tangent signed up. Yeah, so like, Tangent, Jerma, all these people who have like streamed it like once or twice... They'll probably get it, and that's fine. It is what it is. When is the next anime drinking game map more? Sorry, I didn't see that until right now. Um, I don't know. I work every weekend, so it's tough. I have a couple of weekends coming up that I have off, so, you know, maybe. Maybe we'll do it on a Saturday night. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know in advance. It's very hard for me to commit to a schedule on the weekend, though, because I get... Uh, called in for stuff last minute all the time. Like, I, I got a call while I was on stream. I got a text to uh, do a gig on Wednesday. So, like, two days from now. And just, that's my life. I could have said no to that one, technically, but, you know, it's easy money. Spit lands, not enough to kill. Swayzo's gonna win this? Iacane doesn't attack. Swayzo wins super close. Damn, so Son of Blonik and Swayzo. That's who we got in winner's finals. Iacane had a shot and decided not to do anything. Okay, let's take a look at our standings. Don't they know you have more important things to do like this? I actually say no to a lot of work to work on Monster Rancher content. I do as much work as I need to to like pay the bills and put a little bit into savings and then I spend a lot of time making this stuff. So as much as it's like, yeah, my, my numbers don't, uh, what do you call it? I, I make better money on this than you would expect from my numbers. I still don't make very good money at all compared to the amount of time and effort I actually put into it. But you know, that's, that's content creation. It is what it is. Um, okay, so look at that. Son of Blonik and Suezo in winner's finals. 
And then we've got all of Loser's Bracket to play through right now. We've got Cepheus versus Bombo. We've got Lontar versus uh, Ivern. And then YB Zoomer and Iacane just chilling, just hanging out. Doing great work. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, usually if I am asked to work more than like 60 hours a week, I, I just start saying no to everything. Uh, and then on some weeks, depending on how I'm feeling, if it's more than 30, I just say no as well. I'm in a very nice spot where I can just say no to work. Cepheus and Bombo. Like, I got bills to pay. I'm, I am, uh, what do you call it? I'm responsible, but at the same time, I'm not one of those live-to-work people. Me working more hours isn't going to make my boss think I'm a better asset or anything like that. I've got a pretty good relationship with my boss, and, you know, I just work what I want to work. And if he's asking me to do way too much, I'm just like, hey, you're asking me to do way too much, and then that's that. I've been much less l lucky in the past with that regard, so I'm happy I am where I am right now. Hey, you got about 30 seconds left on this bet. Cepheus and Bombo. I haven't checked out my Patreon yet. Like, you do that. The cheapest one is really, really uh, inexpensive because people were always like, hey, I want to support, but Twitch subscriptions are really expensive in my country or whatever. And I'm like, cool. Uh, you want to support? You can do one dollar Canadian. You can afford that, or one fifty Canadian. You want the big boy rewards? Well, you got them. People like the big boy rewards. Okay, here we go. Cepheus and Bombo. You wish they were me. You'll get their JP. You're still a kid. Yeah, JP. When I was your age, you're what twenty two, something like that. I was working uh, for a music magazine doing. Uh, uh, studio recordings and stuff like that but it paid really really poorly so i had to work overnights at a grocery store so i was working like 60 hour weeks and making maybe like 28k a year on 60 hour weeks it's a lot of money it's very shitty knock misses at 61 bomb has got a lot of guts hits the toxic pollen no crit They're just chilling. I don't think Cepheus is going to get to attack again. Here comes another Toxic Pollen. Again, no crit. And again, he dodges it, but it does not matter. He had 99 Guts. He did have 99 Guts. And then, you know, this happened. Doing okay being teacher's assistant, doing after school art classes right now. It's kind of crazy that everybody I know who's like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good, but I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't have one job. I can do a bunch of shit. Yeah, a lot of withering. While getting walled, it's what happens. Toxic Pollen's a good tech. 300. It's also got a glitched uh, critical hit rate. I almost want to play this game in fast motion. Like, uh, fast forward. Toxic Pollen. It's a long soldier. Bombo. Bombo and Cepheus both made... Uh, Winners Cup last week, so it kind of sucks they have to fight each other so early in losers, but it happens. I technically have one job, but uh, it's, that's mostly just because I don't consider what I'm doing here a job. It's not so much that I don't take it seriously or I don't try to make money on it. That's one of those things that I think people are really afraid of. People, especially like bigger content creators, because they know their audience is just like a huge amalgam of people with like differing opinions on stuff. And a lot of fucking weirdos who watch streams, not you guys, but like, you'll know the type I'm talking about, are like very, very turned off on the idea that the person that they watch, the person that they enjoy spending a shit ton of time watching, and doing like absorbing their content and doing nothing else on their own they get pissed when they find out that person makes a lot of money and it's like 
So. What are you gonna do on a fucking Saturday night if Ludwig's not streaming? You don't have a life. You don't have friends. Bombo gets the win. Swayzo and Ivern. Lantar and Ivern, sorry. Hey, Patch. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Sorry your monster didn't do fantastic today. But go to Mango stream? Yeah, but then they'll be like, oh, fuck, Mango. Mango's fans are like, hell yeah, get that bag, you know? And so he's got a good community there. Mango could just, like, tweet what he makes. He could keep a counter on stream of how much money he's making, and everyone would just be like, fuck yeah, go, man. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty open about it. Like, as much as this isn't, like, I don't treat this specifically like a job. I do treat it as if it is a responsibility. It's something that I have to spend time on, make a lot of graphics. I spend a lot of time, um, you know, Patreon thing. If you're not on the Patreon, I constantly post updates and stuff there. Even though it's not super frequented, like the people who are on the Patreon aren't like checking it every day. You know, you still got to uh, send content. You got to do a tweet. You got to... Uh, make a linked post on YouTube whenever you go live. There's a lot of little things that people don't realize. And uh, it does add up. It takes a lot of time. Fan of one and only Mango. Mango Mamba. Damn. Mango Mamba's got shooters out here. Ivern gets another grit. Got 99 guts. What's he gonna do? Leaf Cutter at 80. This could do big damage. Does do big damage. Still got 80 guts. Goes again. Oh, it's not enough to kill. Both monsters can attack. Do we see another Leaf Cutter? We do. 75%. It misses this time. Oh, no. Tongue Slap, 44. That would have been insane. Toxic Arrows at 60. That misses as well. Chewing at 63. Using him as a toothpick. Lontar's going to take game one. Yeah, that's pretty close. Gale Frenzy opener, 46%. Here we go. It misses. That move has not landed today. Yeah, he gets pretty big. He's a grower, not a shower, you know? Tell us how it misses. Chewing at 67. Chomp, chomp. Not enough to kill. Ivern's still in it. So that means he can still grit if he gets KO'd. It's not over yet. Both monsters got this. They can both attack. Well, Ivern can't, but he's close. Tail Assault 56. It misses. Both monsters near 50. Tail Assault's going to get the KO. No grit this time. Blontar moves up. So, not the best day for JP's monsters. Sorry about that, JP. And Noble Chewing in Biggins. The smallest Swayzo. Next up, we got YB Zoomer and Bombo. It's a perfectly cromulent tech. It's wondering if it was a word, it's not. Swayzo jump scare? Oh shit. Yeah, 0 and 2. That sucks. That was like me last week, you know? There's killers. This is not like, I made a good monster, so that's enough. So you have to make a good monster. You have to get a little bit lucky in your draw on who you fight. And you have to also, you know, get lucky within the battle itself. Monster has to be very, very consistent and good to move up. And I think all of these monsters are at a pretty even power level. It's hard to say who's the best i pray to RNG Jesus. There you go. That's one of the... I'm going to make a, a new emote that's an RNG Jesus emote, but uh, it's with Galley. I've been thinking about that for a while. Pleasantly surprised with your mod's performance. Swayzo is very powerful. 
Suezo is a lot stronger than I think people give him credit for. In the base game, even. And in uh, hard mode, he's even better. He's also one of the best possible mixed attackers in the entire game, in every format. Dice Galley would be great. Like, dice on his cape. I was talking to Macho about making a, uh, a galley slash plant, whatever its name is, colorful. Um, I name it uh, Inri Vederci because it kind of looks like the the Italian flag, but also you know Inri because he's God. Pretty funny. It's a very, very clever, subtle joke. None of this. I'm naming my Suezo Suezo shit. I'm good at names. His mask could be the dots. That's true. Toxic Pollen, big damage, big withering. Bombo's in a great spot right now. Pizza pasta. Mamma mia. Let's go YBZ. Yeg and Ball Z. That's what they call it in Sweden. Actually, you didn't even bet on your boy. Meteor Drive misses. Seed Galling 71. You know he's hitting them. Right in the front. You guys already know. Toxic Pollen. This is an incredibly bad matchup for YB Zoomer, by the way. Centaur is such a weird monster design. It's just regular horse with crazy dino raptor bird, man. I know. I love it. I think it's great. Wondering, oh, there's the grit. Keeps getting withered, but he's not going down. He got power. He got grit. He's doing his damnedest. He missed the meteor drive. So, you know, not a great opening. Stab throw can do it. He's got hurry. Dodges the toxic pollen. Javelin, he's got hurry. How much damage? Crit, not enough, but he can attack one more time. He walks out of range. He almost had it. Bombo's going to win that one, too. Oh. And now we got Iacane. And we got Lontar. Today you learned that Duckin is from Monster Rancher 2. He is. He did not exist in Monster Rancher 1. Lantar, right? Yeah. Which is silly. Everyone knows lizard men are a superior species. That's true. They took over the government. Can't do that if you're inferior. <laughs> Nobody who's ever held office has been less than. Lantar, I okay, prediction is live. I have to choose something else for the Patreon reward thinking emoji. Yeah, there's uh, no duck in Monster Rancher 1, unfortunately. If you want, uh, just to get like a quick idea on what some of them look like if you've never played, because, and I don't think you have, Rosa, um, take a look at my, um, my Let's Play Monster Rancher 1, because I have all the battles I had in there. So you in the battles in Monster Rancher 1, when it's doing a preview, it shows the sprite. It doesn't show a monster battle card or anything like that. So you can take a look. A couple of them look like completely different. Golem is completely off model for no reason. I don't know why. The Golem sprite looks absolutely nothing like normal Golem. Uh, I almost prefer the sprite over the models we ended up getting. But yeah, there's some good ones. Bad matchup, but can't vote against your girl. He's so chunky in Monster Rancher 1. Yeah, he is. But yeah, the the sprite is even chunkier. He's got like massive, massive forearms. And his body is just like a circle. And like tiny little stub legs. With a little rectangular head on top. Okay, let's a little bit of damage there. Slap. 67. 350. Flame misses. Also, thank you for uh, the Patreon, Rosa. Appreciate it. Uh, 
chewing at 99%. There's the damage. Lontar gets game one. Uh, if you just, uh, it's a playlist. If you just take a look at my channel, like, if you go to the, the main page of my channel, it's one of the playlists. It's like Monster Rancher 1, let's play no saves. Something like that. Gets the real, real power, baby. No fake power over here. There's a heal raid with real. It hits, 999 damage. There's the grit, though. Oh my god, really? Oh no. Well... Womp womp womp. Watching the computer throw matches is equally frustrating and entertaining. I agree. It's very funny when it's not your monster. And it's horrifying when it is. What a time to get grit. Actually land an attack with real. That's the first time today that's happened. What do we got? We got Bombo, we got Lontar. That's gonna suck. Just like your timing. Yeah, you were, you were a little bit late on that, but that's okay. Stream delays a thing. Bombo and Lontar. Lontar gets the win. Here you go. This is the start of our top four. So all of these monsters get a plus one on their top four column. That's going to help them out in seeding. But only two monsters actually advance to the winner's cuff this week. So it's possible neither of these monsters advance. Comrade Bob's rolling a disc. What's he roll? Gets himself a dragon. Putting Joker subs and fake Joker subs like the plague in the future. Uh, the, but the thing is, on um, the port, reel's pretty good. You watch uh, the original Switchport Battle League. I ran a Wild Saurian. Wild Saurian in that game has reel, and it won him so many games. It's nuts. Wild Saurian has an 11 guts rate. So that's the fastest zoom already, and then he gets real, which cranks up his uh, guts rate to like an 8. Something like that. Tongue slap miss at 38. Guts limit really going to change everything. I can't, I can't believe what they did to my boy Duckin, you know? I made a duckin' for uh, the max stat tournament that they made, and he didn't do great. He went like 3-1 and one or something, which is still fine, because it's a duckin', you know? Flutter Slap sucks ass, but I don't know. It was just very unfortunate. Chewing misses. Nice 42. Stepped away to help your girlfriend with something. This is Loser's Semis. Seed Gatling misses. Want to have a Ducklon? Well, Ducklon, um, the main breed of a monster sucking has nothing to do with the subbreed sucking. Ducklon is still the best Beaklon you can get. Or one of them. It's tied with uh, Sloth Beetle. But it does get its own tech. It has a special crossover tech, which is a thing we don't talk about a lot on the the stream because it's not a thing that comes up often, but certain monsters have crossover techs, which is um, they have a subbreed specific tech that only that one subbreed can learn. So like Pixie has a fire breath move for when it's mixed with a dragon, has a phantom claw, which is when a Kato's attacks when it's mixed with a Kato. Ducklong gets its own special tech called triple stabs, which is like a really, really heavy withering tech. Lontar wins game two. So here we go, game three. Hopper has two intelligence crossover moves. Um, they can both only be learned by the pixie one for some reason. 
And there's a glitch that allows any hopper to learn his lightning eyes attack, even though it's like... It doesn't make sense for most of the monsters, because he like flies up into the air. So all the hoppers without a, a subbreed with wings look really funny, just kind of like floating upwards. Might see a big payout here. Yeah, you might. Toxic Pollen misses the second time. He's got enough to attack. Tail Assault can kill. Another Toxic Pollen, 63. Oh my god, there goes his guts. He's, Lontar is still in the lead, though. What's the prediction at right now? 1.1k to 290. Damn. Seed Gatling, 7 seconds left. Bombo going to eliminate Lontar from the tournament this week. So let's take a look at the bracket before we get into our 3 out of 5s. We've got Sonoblonic and Suezo in winner side. Loser of that will fight Bombo. Uh, so that means either Sonoblonic or Suezo is guaranteed a spot in uh, this week's Winner's Cup. That also means that we are only, at best, guaranteed to have one new monster in Winner's Cup from last week, from uh, last bracket earlier today, and from this one as well. It's possible uh, Son of Blonic and... No, yeah, we're not guaranteed anything. Sorry, we're guaranteed only one at max, that's what I was saying. Yeah, because both Bombo and Son of Blonic have made Winner's Cup before. Bombo made it last week, Son of Blonic made it on the first week. So, we're seeing some consistency there. I think the only time I've used crossover text in tournament is the plated arrow you made with Sting Slash. Uh, what's really funny is Sting Slash and Death Scythe on Arrowhead are almost the exact same tech. They're almost literally the exact same tech. They all have the same exact numbers. Uh, one is slightly more accurate, one has slightly more crit, if I remember correctly. Or something like that. They basically copy and pasted the tech. Where is... Yankee. Sorry, Celtic. No payout for you. Bombo gets the win. It was close, though. 2-0, but close, though. It wasn't a 2-0. Uh, what do we got? We got SOB. We got Suezo. Prediction is live. Yeah, did you guys know if you chat, if you, if you type in chat more often, it gives you more bits or uh, channel points per hour? I didn't realize it until I was in somebody's stream... And I was, uh, there was a Moss Rancher streamer, and I was talking to them constantly. And over the course of like two hours, I had like 1,200 bits or chips. I keep saying bits. I had like 1,200 chips. And here I am watching my own on my, my freaking, my freaking phone on my Moosey B Money account. And I think I've gained like 150 since the beginning of the day. Time to spam chat. How do you think I'm rich and also bad at bets? That's true. JP makes a good point. Jumping chop at 52. Big opener. Suezo doesn't like that. Kiss. Wants to give him a smooch, but it misses. He tried. Samurai kick at 66. That misses as well. How much do you have to chat? I think it's just as long as you're like chatting consistently without like being a dick about it. You just gain more over time than you would otherwise. I'd be missed at 51. I'm sure you guys are gaining a lot more bits. Fuck. A lot more chips than I am without even realizing it. But yeah, even you, Matt, like you talk enough. And I'm sure you're getting, like, big bonuses. Just go on fighting game rambles. Nah. Don't be spamming, please. But, yeah, if you uh, do interact, you do get more chips. Sana Blonic wins game one. Jumping Chop opener hits again. 568 damage. 
Big damage on the big chop. I-beam, holy shit, 688. Both monsters down to a sliver of health. Next hit wins. Son of Blonic has power. It's completely meaningless. It's going to run out. They both have exactly a 13 or 12 guts rate. They both have exactly a 12 guts rate. Look at that. They're both going to hit 45 on the same frame. Quick hits. Swayzer's going to get the win there. No, he's not. There's the grit. It's not over yet. After work in the morning, so you're heading to bed. Well, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Son of Blonic wins the second game. Uh, but yeah, I'll be streaming again tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and then Wednesday as well, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, be able to tune in the next two days. Hope to see you then. If you can't, then I'll catch you when I catch you. Two over Son of Blonic. He gets the grit comeback. Just big dicking all over the place. There's the kiss, though. Minus 47 guts. Swayzo's got enough to attack. Son of Blonic's pretty close. I-beam at 50. Not enough to kill my proc power again. He doesn't, though. Samurai kick at 67. Electric blow at 42. Jumping chop at 54. That is Soul of Gaboo. We all know that. Samurai kick. There's the kiss at... Oh, he's gonna get smooched. Gotta give him a big smooch. Swayzo does his best to stop from getting 3 owed. Did they think how weird Kiss would look on most opponents? I don't think they, they care that much. Electric Blow, 43%. It misses. No Kiss this time. No Kiss. Telepathy at 52 does 224 damage. That's a little bit. It's not that much. Son of Blanc does need to watch out for crit I beam now, though. It did think that's why it looks like that. That's a good point. Telepathy, big damage that time. Son of Blonic, almost dead. Can kill with uh, Jumping Chop. If it crits, oh, but he misses. Pansexual Swayzo, the true pride icon. Pans pansexual spokes thing. Jumping chop, 53. Oh my god. He gets power. He's running down the clock on himself. Oh no. Sways. Oh. Sana Blahnik makes winner's cup for a second time. 1% difference. He wins it. He moves on. Bill. Your boy's doing good, Bill. Hope you're having a good night, Bill, wherever you are. If Bill's streaming tonight, we gotta say hi to him. So here we go. Losers finals. We got Genki with Swayzo. It's not actually Genki, it's Bio. And we got Bombo. These guys fought round one and Swayzo won it. Real question is who has the best kisses? Pixie, Swayzo, or Gaboo? Look how big Genki or <laughs> Genki. Fuck that name. Look how big Swayzo's mouth is. Everyone knows the bigger the mouth, the better the kiss. That's just math. Swayzo gets the win, here we go. Swayzo. Or SOB gets the win, sorry. And Bombo. Fiction is live. We don't see Gaboo's kiss very often, but uh, it's pretty funny as well. Yeah, predictions live. I got tagged in uh, the Discord, and I was checking, and all I said was, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to tag you <laughs> in the tag. <laughs> okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Which monster will be joining Sana Blonic in Winner's Cup this week? Sun has beaten Swayzo. Swayzo has beaten Bombo. Is Bombo gonna do it? Is Bombo gonna get the run back? Toxic Pollen, big damage. 
As much as I like Bombo, I would like to see Suezo just for the sake of having more new monsters in Winner's Cup. But, you know, people like consistency, you know? They like it when a monster can do well over and over again. And Bombo making it two weeks in a row would be pretty cool, especially after how well it did last week. In Winner's Cup, it literally won every match, and then in top four, it got third place, so it didn't move up. It went 5-0 and in the regular round robin, though. Beat every monster at least once. 5.30, Bombo gets game one win. This is the kiss there. Bombo not feeling it today. No kisses for Bombo. Seed Gatling 59. That's going to hit again. 347 damage. Into another one. Damn. 311. I still need to make that uh, animation that I was talking about. The Investigate 311 one. Bombo wins game two. Seed Gatling doing big damage. Can't decide between yeah, Hare and Tiger Sprite right now. They're all pretty good. Hare's running animation is kind of goofy, but uh, I do like it. It's like a million miles an hour, and like he doesn't move at the same speed as his feet do. It's like a very funny run cycle. But that's part of why it's so endearing. Tiger's pretty easy. Hits the Toxic Pollen. Bombo. You gotta move on. How's hair in the anime? Hair is... The... How do I say this? Hair is like the brains of the team. And he's also very quick to anger, which is really funny. So, I do believe that was three for Bombo, right? Someone help me out. It's been a lot of Monster Rancher today. I'm starting to lose count. Someone who bet, let me know. Yeah, Bombo got this? Okay. So. Swayzo came close. But it wasn't enough. Bombo gets the win. SOB and Bombo. Prediction is live. Both these monsters have made it to Winner's Cup, but they did not make it to Winner's Cup on the same week. Son of Blonic did it on week one. Bombo did it on week two. So now they'll both be there in week three. Congratulations to both Tix and Bill. Once again, your monsters are moving up. Maybe Bombo will have a little bit of a better time this time. Son of Blonic didn't do fantastic. Uh, but Bombo did very well and then kind of bustered out. So Son of Blonic looking for redemption. Bombo rightfully, sorry, looking for his rightful place at the top. It's looking like uh, Winner's Cup is going to be really insane again. Oh, so you're going to choose hair? Okay. Um, I will take a look at a couple of his animations and see what works best. I already have his running animation from my intro. But then I might uh, find something else that goes with it. Okay. Prediction is done. 60% on SOB. Makes sense because, you know, if you're betting on Bombo, you're betting on him to win two sets in a row. Electric Blow misses at 32%. Seed Gatling, 55, 364, big damage there. Seed Gatling again. That's enough. That's enough. Bombo wins game one. These two haven't had to fight today yet. That Seed Gatling misses. Slap at 60, misses as well. Electric Blow at 33. 
Oh, 906. The over torque. Always love to see electric blow. One all going into game three. Got Bomba clapped. <laughs> Jumping chop. 576. Bombo not liking that. Seed Galling 55 with a guts lead. Look at that. They're both in the yellow. Sun and Blonic does not get power. Just chilling. Toxic Pollen hits at 60. Not enough to kill, but that is a lot of withering. Bombo is going to be able to attack again. Has a great chance to kill instantly with anything it has. 60% on Toxic Pollen looking pretty nice. Son of Block just chilling, just standing still. He's like, I don't want to move at all. More withering there. Bombo up 2 1. Still has to reset bracket, even if it wins it, but you know, he's doing pretty good. Game 4. Toxic Pollen opener dodges it. A little strafe, a little swim move. Goes for Samurai Kick at 61. That misses as well, both of them missing their 60s. Seed Galling at 53. Decent damage there. Son of Blonic in range to die to a crit. He needs to watch out. Samurai Kick at 58. Hits. 334. Bombo just above half health. Toxic Pollen, he's got to watch out for that. He gets hit by it. Crits again. There's power, but it's not going to matter. Son of Blonic does not have enough guts to attack unless Bombo does foolery. 1% chance. No, power runs out immediately. Electric Blow can still win this. Samurai Kick on a crit can win it. Jumping Chop can win it. He's got options. What's he going to go for? going to go for something. He's going to just get hit. Bombo is going to reset the bracket. 3-1 for Bombo. Okay, here we go. Good opener once again. Son of Blonic into the green, but not into the yellow. Great damage roll for Bombo. Electric Blow at 34. He goes for it. It misses. Toxic Pollen hits at 60. Big damage there. What's funny is Toxic Pollen was buffed to be closer to what it was like in Monster Rancher 1, but not nearly as powerful as it was in Monster Rancher 1. And we're seeing how good of a move it is. Shit is nuts. Now imagine it on a monster with a 6 guts rate, and it's at like plus 10 accuracy, withers like 40 does about the same damage this does. I Dude, it's crazy. It's nuts. This, yeah, this is essentially the same move. Except it costs more. Seed so Galling 52. Crits again. Bombo. Wins at the beginning. This is just Blonic abuse at this point. He's just not attacking. Can't expect to win if you're not attacking. I know that feeling. Oh my god, Toxic Pollen opener. Best opener for Bombo. Electric Blow still has the one hit kill potential though. That's the crazy thing. Sea Gatling is going to hit. Blonic not dodging anything. There's a chance for power. He gets power. He's got 45 guts. He can use whatever he wants. Samurai Kick is a kill here. Slap with power, pretty good. You know, not great, but it's something. What are other cool Koei Tecmo games on stream? <laughs> Dude, I don't know any other ones. They make fucking Dynasty Warriors and DOA, and I don't know what else they make. Is Neo Koei Tecmo? I think that's it. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the franchise, or the, not franchise, the, the dev team, the company, the studio. Horse simulation, yeah, there you go. What is it called, Gallop Breeder? Jumping Chop, 47%, misses with power. 
He had it. He was so close. So, so close. He still got power. Oh, he doesn't attack. Jumping chop. Misses again. Bombo. Just dodging everything. Just trying to end it here. And he's going to. Does that. 3-1, 3-0. Pretty commanding win there. Pretty dominant. But either way, both of these monsters advance. So congratulations to both uh, Tix and Bill again. Your monsters advance this week. Two out of three. Pretty good. Both your monsters have made it twice in three weeks. That's pretty solid. So you're going to be joining Glassworks. And who did we see yesterday? Or earlier today, sorry. And Drunkenstein. So four monsters this week. No, sorry, four monsters have been in uh, the Legend Cup, Legend Cup, in the Winner's Cup twice in three weeks. That's pretty consistent. Uh, Shifu is the only new one so far. Tomorrow we will be doing more Monster Rancher Battle League. And uh, so we'll get two more monsters into the Winner's Cup, and that will let us know who is fighting on Wednesday. But after tomorrow's bracket, we will be doing a, uh, a tier list. We're going to be talking about all the monsters in Monster Rancher 2 how they function in the Western meta, specifically the Western meta. Um, I'm going to explain why it matters and all that fun stuff tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you had fun today. And if you did, you'll probably have fun tomorrow too.